Money has always evolved. We began with gold and silver coins, hard assets you could hold. Then came the paper dollar, backed by gold. That ended in 1971 when President Nixon took the U.S. off the gold standard. From then on, money was no longer tied to gold. It was tied to trust in government. By the late 20th century, we entered the era of the petrodollar, U.S. currency backed by oil trade, giving America financial dominance. And now we're at the doorstep of another transformation, the age of digital currencies. Governments around the world are experimenting with what's called CBDCs, or central bank digital currencies. These are not Bitcoin. They're digital versions of the dollar, the euro, the yuan, issued and controlled by governments. Proponents say CBDCs will make transactions faster, cheaper, and more secure. Critics fear they'll give governments new ways to monitor how you spend, even what you spend it on. On the other side, you have cryptocurrencies, decentralized, not owned by any government. Bitcoin is the leader. It values swings wildly, less wildly today than it used to, but one truth has emerged. Global investors, hedge funds, even some governments are buying Bitcoin like digital gold.